With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the question. Question says that a ball is thrown upward with an initial velocity v naught from the surface of the earth. The motion of the ball is affected by drag force equal to m gamma v square. M is the mass of the ball, V is the instantaneous velocity and gamma is constant. Time taken by the ball to rise the zenith is, okay. So we have to find the time when uh, the ball, ball to rise to its zenith, that means the velocity will be zero there, okay. So if we take the case, let's say this is the ball and if it is moving upward, okay so it has x acceleration a okay and it is experience it is experiencing the acceleration due to gravity that is z in the downward direction and also the retardation acceleration okay downward okay so here we can say that the force of retardation is m gamma v square it is given in the question so from here we can write acceleration due to retardation retardation will be m gamma v square by m and m m will be cancelled out so this will be gamma into v square okay so the net acceleration we can write here net acceleration that is the acceleration due to gravity plus the acceleration due to retardation that is gamma v square okay and the sign is negative because these are acting downward okay against the velocity now to calculate time what we can do we can write the acceleration in terms of velocity okay so this will be in differential form dv by dt okay so here we have t and we if we integrate the, the dt then we will get the t okay here we can write minus g plus gamma v square okay now if we take this uh, the v square this side this will be dv by g plus gamma v square okay and this side minus dt now we will integrate okay we will integrate so the limit will be v naught initial velocity and at zenith the velocity is zero so we can write here zero okay and time it is started when it when the t is zero and it is finishing when the time is t okay and we have to find out this t so if you write if you write this one in a standard standard form okay we can write v naught zero dv and root under g by gamma whole square okay if i do this then we have to multiply by 1 by gamma okay plus v square okay this will be equal to minus 0 to t dt okay now if you remember this standard form then we remember that 1 by x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 by a 10 inverse x by a and if we relate here this is the a this is the a and this is the x here okay so if you write in this form this equation we can write we can write the left side 1 by gamma into 1 by a and that is root g by gamma into 10 inverse v by 
g by gamma and if we put the limit the initial is v0 and final v0 okay this will be equal to minus t the integration of dt okay now if we put the limit then this will be 1 by root under g into gamma and the bracket it will be 0 okay minus 10 inverse this is the 0 here okay because the velocity is 0 finally okay now 10 inverse v naught the initial velocity into gamma by root g equal to minus t and if if we remove the minus both side we can write t equal to 1 by root under g into gamma and in the bracket we can write 10 inverse root under gamma by root g into v naught okay and if we check the option so the option first is correct okay so this option is correct option so we can write correct answer is answer is t equal to 1 by root under g gamma 10 inverse root under gamma by g into v naught thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today